Hello everyone, I am Third Mario Brother, and welcome to part 5 of Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door Live! We're getting a little bit of a late start today, and I'm sorry about that everybody, I had a little bit of business to take care of before we got ourselves started here. But we are back! Yesterday we took on Twilight Town, got that brand new partner Vivian, that cutie patootie is in our party now, and today we're gonna be heading off to Keel Hall and shivering some timbers and swashing some buckles. So, if you guys are excited to get Bobbery, probably my favorite partner in the entire game today, please make sure to hit that like button down below. I really, really appreciate the support. What is going on, guys? How y'all doing? So, um, we are searching for a way to get to Keel Hall Key, if you guys remember properly. And, uh, we might as well go talk to some salty sailors to try to get there. No matter how much I work, life never gets any easier for me. You know what I mean? It's got to be a way to just go POOF! And get rich. You know, poof! You're a bomb. So are you sure you want to go poof, or do you want to go... Because <laughs> I know somebody's already saying it in the chat by this time. Um. See that ship dock there? She belongs to Flavio, the merchant trader. He don't sail too often, though. Mostly he just hangs at Podley's joint on the plaza. Oh, Podley, I remember that dude. Oi, you, with the mustache. What's with the stink eye, eh? You got something to say? What, then, ask me anything. I'm like an encyclopedia, I am. I can answer anything. Hello, do you have any pasta for me? Oh, kill or key. Listen, mate, don't ask me about that place. I got no need for a curse from the Pirate King. Answer, he said he could answer anything, but he ain't answering anything. Jeez, what a useless fool. Oh my, yep, there it is. Here comes the bomb. <laughs> Here comes the bomb, dude. I knew it was gonna come up. But these guys mentioned that dude Podly, so we may as well go find that dude Podly. And I think Luigi is in the inn as well, so we can listen to his long spun tale and then get started on chapter 5, which um was a really interesting opening. I always thought this was probably the coolest opening to any of the chapters in the game, but who should we talk to first? Um... Well, let's break him. Let's do Luigi first. Just get him out of the way. Well, I had to do circuit break oil and got me a marvelous compass piece. You wouldn't believe it, bro. Talk about thrills, chills, and spills. That is a dis- <laughs> Never mind, I was about to- That is a description of my, uh, culinary life. It was pretty nuts, bro. Wanna hear what happened? Of course I do, Luigi. Hey, it sounds good to me. Which part of my story do you want to hear? Circuit Break Island. Yo, these places almost sound cooler than the actual places in this game. <laughs> If can answer anything, he needs to tell me all the answers to every test for the next few years of college. Yo, pff, that's easy. Obviously, it's video games. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. Just as our boat arrived at Circuit Break Island, we heard this incredible racket. We soon found out that they had cart races almost every day on the island. But that was quiet. The louder thing was the conglomeration of Let's Players yelling into their mics. Whoever takes first place in the race gets to rule the island as king for that day. That is silly. <laughs> Just as we got to the racetrack, they were holding the award ceremony. I couldn't believe my eyes! Right there on the trophy they gave to the winner. It was another piece of the marvelous compass. I almost passed dead away. I decided right then and there that the only thing to do was enter the next race. I mean, I've driven in kart races before, so I thought it'd be okay. Boy, was I wrong. The carts were supercharged machines that could send you airborne when they're exhaust. That sounds really bad for the environment, Luigi, and you're supposed to be the green one. <laughs> <laughs> These vehicles were armed with missiles and bazookas. It was anything goes, bro. So, murder. Alright, now I understand why it's not a Nintendo game. Of course, I wanted to get right out of there front, though. These drivers were crazed. But I worked up my courage and signed up anyway, and my race day finally came. I got one of the best cars, the big green Zero One. I took my position at the start line. The light went green, I stomped the accelerator, and something bad happened. I was in reverse! The big green Zero One went rocketing backwards with me, yelling, I crashed into the wall behind me hard enough to cut me off mid-screen. In one fell swoop, I dropped into last place and wrecked my racing machine. But it wasn't all bad news. All the other cars crashed because of my maneuver. Once I got in gear and took off, I was the only car left. I won by a country mile, bro. I took the piece off of my trophy and added it to the marvelous compass. The compass came to life and pointed me towards Jazafraz town in the east. Then I heard that voice, Princess Eclair's voice, echoed in my ears again. Oh, my princess, random words with one poetry have spoken by her voice. Also, those other four girls are pretty good too. I will most definitely save you. Just wait for me, Princess Eclair. Oh, sorry about that, bro. Um, sorry that I got back on my boat and came back here to Roveport. And that's what's been up with me. <laughs> Very abrupt ending there, Luigi. I dig it. Luigi's story should have been a DLC of some sort. Yo, that is such a good idea, man. Oh my gosh. Let's talk to this angry little donut over here. 
Yeah, I'm Torque, and don't think for a second this dude's telling the whole story. The only reason I landed my rig was because he got down on his knees and begged. And what happens? He's in it for one second before he completely totals it, idiot. I'm not letting this dip out of my sight until he repays me the 5,000 coin repair costs. That's Luigi's pal Torque. I hear he's like a totally excellent mechanic. According to Mechanics Weekly, a tool on his back can basically do anything. Seems ticked off, though. I wonder what happened. That tool on his back, is that part of him, or did he, like... So, if a spiny gets his spine removed and replaced with something, is that, like, me getting my arm removed and replacing it with, like... Like a... Like a... One of those bouncy hammer things or something? I don't know. <laughs> That's so weird, though. Either way. Pop in the morning into your live racks. Yo, what up, live racks? How you doing? Bottom of the evening. <laughs> oh, man. But, hello, Mr., um guy who looks like a piece of corn. And what do you want, da? Uh? Who? Me, you ask about? Ah, oh, I am called Flavio. I am, how you say, a trader. The richest man in Rogueport. Which is not saying much, considering everybody here has like three coins. Monetary wealth gives me freedom, yes, and freedom gives me wealth of spirit. This guy is such a jerk already. And yet, why is it that a man whose life is unchained must always long for yet more, uh? What is missing from my life? This tears at my very insides. I must know, what do I lack? Money. <laughs> um, I forget. Doesn't one of... Thrills? Thrills, you say, huh? Suppose one does need some thrills every now and then. There is nothing like the feeling of being alone on a mountain, shivering to death. Ah! No! Foolish Flavio! Not chills, you silly man! What I need are thrills! <laughs> what a clown. Wait, hold the horses! That is it! Now that I'm thinking of it, I once heard of the treasure of Cortez, the Pirate King. Yes! This is the answer! Oh, such happiness for me! A hunt for pirate treasure! This is like, Fawful's good guy cousin or something. Why, that just shrieks of romance and thrills and emotion and even money! Which... Okay, could you answer any of those, actually? Is he cool if you just answer money even though he has nothing but money? Do you not know the tale? The Pirate King's treasure hidden on Keel Hawkey? Ah, oh, well, tales say that the Pirate King Cortez hid the, his hoard of pirate booty there. Mmm, pirate booty. For years, the treasure hunters and ruffians have gone there in search of the loot. But not a single one of them has ever returned. Oh, the horror makes my back tingle. Might want to see a doctor about that. People here whisper that the ghost stories of Cortez attacks... Um, that the ghost of Cortez attacks all who seek his treasure. Eek. It is because of those very rumors that people are no longer... That people no longer go to Keel Hall Key. Let's go ahead and go. It's like a terrible horror movie. Like, yes, there's a murderer in that house. Let's step right inside. For I am Flavio, trader extraordinaire, millionaire, sailor of the seven seas. Yo, can I, uh, can I catch a ride, bruh? What is it that you are saying? You are also looking for a treasure here in Rogueport. Why talk such craziness? There isn't anything like that in this dull armpit of a town. Whoa, armpit of a town. You cannot be believing each stupid rumor about treasure some street urchin spews out. What is up, his 2013 girl? I love this game too. Hope you stick around and we can love us some Paper Mario together. No, 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 no! Now what madness comes bursting from your mouth? You have a treasure map? Well, hand it over. Rather, I mean, show me. Say please. You are having a joke on me. This map leads straight to Keel Hockey. You swine. You mean to steal my treasure out from under me, you awful, awful man. Well, now I am confused. You were looking for things known as the Crystal Stars. Why is that confusing? It's pretty... But now that I am thinking... <laughs> I wasn't thinking before. I have just turned my brain on. A star-shaped stone was said to be in Cortez's hoard. Perhaps I could sell it for a staggering amount of cash? Yes, that would be... Oh, stop such thoughts, Flavio. What you need is romance, thrills, and emotion. And a new pair of shoes to fit that outfit, because you're looking kind of clowny. I cannot ignore what this business before me suggests. This must be fate at work. Flavio shall go with you to Keel Hall Key. Of course, the Crystal Star is yours. Yes, but the rest of the treasure is mine. Huh? You must repeat that. Flavio's ears are plugged. You have no ship? Ha, 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 you unfortunate, foolish man! Do you not know who I am? I will have a ship ready in no time, and it will be massive and glorious! A man with a massive ship. Hmm. Splendid, splendid, splendid! Let us begin preparations immediately, shall we? I will volunteer myself as our intrepid leader. Yes, and you will be captain. Isn't the captain the le leader? Whatever. Ah, danger and adventure tickle my nostrils. That's gross. Blow your nose. Come to the harbor right away! Turns out, this giant ship in the harbors belonged to Flavio. And hey, who's this handsome hunk of meat over here? Uh, pleased to meet, um, your acquaintance. <laughs> Me trying to socialize. 
Oh, yes. So it is you, huh? Well, sadly, a slight problem seems to have popped up. But feast your eyes on this outrageously fantastic ship. It's really tacky, actually. Like, really tacky. She's the SS Flavion, the queen of the countless ships in my personal fleet. The raw majesty of her hull, the pomp and circumstance. No one can compare to her. He just starts, like, making out with the, the like, mast or whatever. Ah, oh, behold the elegant curve of her prow. She cuts to the very soul, don't you agree? Not that in the ships, bruh. But she is not just a beauty. She is a savage beast on the water, tops among sailboats. But above all, I tell you, this proud ship can... Ah, yes, did you speak? Yes, 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 of course. Uh, the problem that has sprung up. I had completely forgotten about it. The SS Flavion, she bewitches me. Yes, well, here's the issue. We have no navigator. He ran off the dog. The navigator, of course, is the highest-ranked helmsman. They steer ships, you know. Now, here's the real problem. The waters around Keelhaw Key are deathly dangerous and very, very wet. We need an absurdly skilled helmsman for our navigator. It is, a uh, how you say, a uh, pickle. Oh, Flavio. I heard you talking there, sir. If you don't mind me saying, I might have a solution. What's the solution, chat? Tell me what the solution is. Do not tease me, Papatch. You can solve our problem. Let's spit it out already. Well, sir, I've heard talk of a famed, now a legendary sailor living in Roport. Yeah, I think he's called Admiral Bobbery. A salty old sea dog, by all accounts. But he's said to have the helmsman's touch, sir. He can make any ship bow to his will. Get it, pal, because it's part of the ship. I've been working on that one all week. Please laugh. <laughs> Thing is, there ain't a soul what's seen him on the seas of late. Boss, a boom problem solved. Let us scout out this Barbary fo fellow and get him on board. I are you just... As this is customary, my captain will handle all negotiations. That would be you, Mario. Yeah, make the negotiator the guy who can't speak. That does sound fair to everyone, does it not? No complaints. Aye, aye, sir. Aye, aye. Wow! Good plan. Even Trumpolina Jr. over there is... Wow. Wow. Y'all are so lazy, I'm just gonna swim there. That'll be about the same amount of work. So, we gotta go find ourselves Bobbery. Gotta go find ourselves a brand new partner, and I love this character coming up so much. Oh my god. Oh my god. Probably my favorite partner in the whole game. I think my favorite partners would be Bobbery, then Yoshi, then Vivian. Yeah, yeah. I think I went over this the other day, but it probably has, like, <laughs> changed by now, because I didn't put a whole, like, super ton of effort into it either way. Um locked from the inside how oh i think i can uh i think if i just go over this way we can go ahead and break and enter into this dude's house <laughs> why not commit some crimes i mean it's a crime town anyway so wouldn't it suck if everybody was made of paper i mean aside from the fact that no one none of us would be alive but hey look it's a bomb with the steering wheel what do you blokes want you sick animal bobbery never heard of the gent Take your search elsewhere. He doesn't even freak out that we just broke into his house. You know what? Now away with you! What happens if we tattle on him with Grimbella right now, actually? That's a bob -omb sailor. The workers of the dock say he's some kind of legend. I heard he was stubborn, but who knew he'd give us this much trouble? Seriously, it'd be nice if Professor Frankly could tell us something about him. Yeah, who knew he'd give us this much trouble for breaking into his house and him wanting us to leave? That's ridiculous. Lucky he didn't pull out a gun and shoot us or bomb us. My favorite partner is Gumbella. Nah, son. Nah, son. I love me some bombs. Boy. Yoshi, don't you mean bomb? Yes, bomb is number two. I don't see dog lives. Oh, wait. Barbary? I don't see dog lives in the east side house right next door. I say he was a great and important sailor long ago. Well, that solves that mystery. We didn't even have to say anything. We're like, okay, well, he's lying to us. Did you lock his door again? Nope, because he's stupid. This is a terrible house, by the way. There's not, like, chairs or anything. There's just... Wood. <laughs> it's like the starting house in Animal Crossing. It comes with, like, the tape deck and the desk, and that's it. Admiral Bobbery, I have the faintest idea what you're talking about. Now, if you please, don't play dumb with us. We were already told that you are Admiral Bobbery. Hurrah! What puddock? Tell me, what would you want with me if I were this chap? You say your ship needs a navigator and you want me to do the job, hmm? So sorry, but you'll have to look elsewhere. I shall set sail upon the sea. Never more. But look, we're begging you here. You totally have to, dude. I'll give you a nickel in this half-eaten gummy worm. You're the only one who can guide our ship to Kill Hulky. This is serious stuff. 
Awfully sorry, dear boy, but when I say no, what I mean is... No! No! Never! No! Alright, so now we have to blackmail Bobbery into doing it. Darn, what do we do, Mario? Threaten him. That guy doesn't seem too stoked to come with us. Torture him. Know what I wonder, though? Why is he all weirded out about the sea anyway? Stick our nose in his business? Sounds good to me. <laughs> Someone put a bomb counter on the screen. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> we gotta find someone who knows this guy and find out what his malfunction is. That is so 2000s lingo. Oh my god. That sounds like something you'd hear on an episode of like Zoe 101. <laughs> Jeez, dude. That is ridiculous if there ever were ridiculous. So, uh, cutting out all the fat, the fat place that we have to go to learn about Bari, I believe, is here. Say Bobbery won't go to sea, huh? Well, can't say that surprises me. The real question is, are you folks really sure you want Bobbery back on the water? <laughs> yeah, pretty sure. Pretty sure. Oh, is that it? Now I see. You want to mount an expedition to Keel Hall Key. Rough seas out there. Most sailors will meet their ends. Not all Bobbery, though. The fact of the matter is, Admiral Bobbery's tale is sad. Horribly sad, actually. You'll probably end up crying, but I'll tell it to you if you really want me to. Yeah, sure, let's t take a look at his private business. I remember Third Mario Bros. Sonic Heroes videos, which were amazing. Yo, thank you, I appreciate the support, but man, that is such a long time ago. Uh, in that case, get ready. Bobby's tale of where goes something like this. Now, this is a story all about how my bomb got flipped, turned upside down. And I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you how he became the prince of sitting in his house alone every day. Bobbery was once married. He had a wife of enduring beauty named Scarlet. The two of them were madly in love, the sort of love reserved for fairy tales. Now, Bobbery was a round sailor, so he was taken away from home for long periods. Scarlet never complained, though, and always waited faithfully for Bobbery's return. And Bobbery, his eye never drifted. He loved only Scarlet, truly and deeply. So they lived and found happiness where they could, and all was good for a time. She exploded, everybody died, bomb bomb, the end. But not all good things can last. It was a particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell ill, a virus, a passing cold, no one knew, but it soon turned serious. Plus the car got stuck in the driveway every day, it was so annoying. Bobbery, at sea on a long, lonely voyage, knew nothing of his bride's suffering. By the time he returned, Scarlet had succumbed, she was gone. Probably should have texted, uh, checked his text messages. Bobbery, of course, blamed himself. My loving wife perished because of me. If I were not at sea, I could have nursed her to health. I could have saved her. He was overcome with such thoughts. They tormented him always, haunting his sleep. He wondered why she didn't go to the hospital, though. He has never gone out to sea since. That's the saddest tale I've ever heard in my life. No wonder. Look how sad I am. Oh wait, no, that's that, that was Gumbella. <laughs> Everybody's just gonna have an Alfred voice now. You all know his tale now, so tell me, you still want him to return to the sea? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm still pretty convinced that a demon destroying the world is more important. <laughs> Very well, I understand. If you're that determined, then I'll give you this. <laughs> he just sinks like he, they don't have a crouching animation, so he just like into the floor. This is the letter that Scarlet wrote to Bobbery on her deathbed. On her deathbed, Scarlet wrote Bobbery a final letter. You hold it in your hands. I don't know what's written inside, but I can tell you what she told me as she lay dying. Why should scum to this plague? And if my love should blame himself for my death, then give this letter to him so he may hear my voice. It was a last request. But uh, I've been busy cleaning this one glass for about 20 years now, so I haven't had a chance to give it to him, I haven't. <laughs> but when I saw Bobbery in misery, trying to forget the pain as he mourned his wife, I just couldn't bring myself to present this letter to him. You know, the one that was supposed to make him feel better. I didn't want to do it. His glass is pretty clean, though. I've regretted it ever since. Please, take this letter and do the deed I was too cowardly to do. Take it to Bobbery. Thanks, Polly. And don't beat yourself up for this. We'll deliver the letter. Come on, Mario. Dude, beat yourself up for this! What the heck? <laughs> like, you were supposed to do this so long ago. What the heck, man? I guess he's got a bean for a brain, so what do you expect? Is he from the Bean Bean Kingdom, actually? I think, um, him and the bartender in Clutesville are, like, um, 
Bean Bean Kingdom inhabitants. That's kind of funny. Either way, that was a really sad tale that I just completely butchered with my clowniness. So, sorry if anybody was looking for a real te tearjerker today. I'm sorry, I had to ruin it. I had to ruin it with my awful British accent. Gotta go, sorry too sick, but I'll be here tomorrow or later. Yo, thanks for coming out, I spin dash right. I really appreciate the support, even though you're sick, man. Get well soon, all right? What? Out my Blaviton's beard, not you again. No matter how many times you entreat me, my stance is firm. Now away with you. Hello, I have some paper. Oh god, Mario turned into Alfred too. Pardon? A, a letter you say? For me? <laughs> what? Scarlet! It's a Scarlet's handwriting. She was a bomb, she didn't even have hands, but... <laughs> it's just a blank piece of paper. <laughs> Scarlet. My love. My love. If you're reading this letter, then I am no longer by your side. Because fate has stepped between us, I've decided to write you this letter. If you're reading this, I must have passed away while you were out to sea. I can only assume that you will blame yourself for it, my sweet Bobbery. Although my life was short, you gave me more than a lifetime's worth of joy. Though you will mourn, I beg that you remember that time, like love, is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you were one with me. Do not lose both your life's loves. Oh, oh my god, that's so sweet! Time, like love, is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you were one with me. Ah, uh, a thousand pardons, but may I have a moment alone, if you please? Ah, He just sneezes really loud in the background. You hear him let out like a really, really long, quiet fart, like... comes back. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes, love. I was happy. My sweet, sweet Scarlet. I love you still. Oh. Oh my god. I'm actually gonna cry. It's so sad. Now then, you were looking for a navigator, I believe, bound for Keelhaw Key. Oh, yeah. Hurrah! If you think an old sea bomb like me is what you need, then let's shove off! Admiral Bobbery, awesome! And with that, we got the young three partners. Look at that. I love Bobbery, dude. Did you guys hear that story that I butchered and ruined? That was awesome, man. Brian, will you be making a second stream? Not today. I have somewhere to go after this, actually. Ship's knob, hmm? I must inspect him before we leave. I shall meet you there. Bobbery, dude, that's my boy right there. Oh my god, and he's fast. Wow. Apparently, he sprinted the entire way there on his legless feet. I swear, Bobbery's mustache looks like Eggman's except recolored. Yo, it does. What if Bobbery is Eggman's dad? Game theory. <laughs> I guess it could be Eggman's invention, right? Eggman makes bombs and stuff, stuff like that. Paper Mario, the thousand pardons. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think bombs let out a small fart. You're right, you're right. It's either a massive explosion or nothing. Yo, I want to, um, tattle on Bobbery one more time. Can we do that? Yes, we can. Whoops. No, no, I don't care. It's Rogueport Harbor, blah, blah, blah. That's Admiral Bobbery. All the dock workers call him a legendary helmsman. I don't know if that's true, but he definitely seems like the most capable sailor here. Not saying much, considering everybody else is blind and has never sailed in their life. I know he's been through a lot, but I'm glad we brought him around, aren't you? Yes, I am. Man, this story is so sad. That's why I love Bobbery so much. He's such a baller, dude. Like, literally, he's a ball. Like, he's the ball shape, so, ball. <laughs> I knew you, you would get Bobbery on board, you wonderful mustached man, you. To you, I must say, ahoy! I wait, I was wise to choose you as a captain. Ahoy to me as well. <laughs> Love you. My men have already loaded our cargo and supplies. Yes, preparations are complete. If you have no errands, we can depart at once. What do you say? Shall we set sail? As long as we got 48 tons of spaghettis in the hull, we're good to go. Very well. To the sea. Raise anchor and set sails for thrills and emotion. And romance and money. Our destination is Dread Kill Hall Key. Wait up. What? Why? Why was, why was, why was that guy there? Why was that guy there? <laughs> Playing on GameCube? Yes, this is on the GameCube. Eric Atkinson. Brian, you cry over Balm Love, I cry over Sados and Monster Sundays, and I make myself watch. Hey man, we all have our vices. Will you ruin his story by a fart? Absolutely. This is X not one here. Come back, dude. Hey, Pete. X not one here. Over. Roger, reading your fly by. Infiltration is successful. X not black aboard the vessel. Repeat, X not black is on board the vessel. What could he possibly be talking about? I have no idea. But ladies and gentlemen, 
It is time for chapter five. High five. <laughs> Everybody better actually hit their screen right now. High five. <laughs> <laughs> the key to pirates. Doesn't that doesn't make very much sense, but okay. Yo, this is so reminiscent of Wind Waker, isn't it? Month Star, Day XL. Over the protests of my crew, the SS Flavion has set sail. Is this voyage as reckless as they say? Oh, I must scoff. Flavio will show them guts. I love this, man. Reminds me of Spongebob, the way the days change, actually. <laughs> Month, star, day, XX. Another day of good wind. White clouds, they dazzle me. I cannot believe that the clouds are white. Wow. Wow. It is as if they are blessing our voyage. Flavio thanks them most heartily. <sighs> Sleepy time. Wakey time. Ohio. Things are going smoothly, yet I am filled with dread. The speed we should reach our destination by tomorrow's sunrise. Better have packed enough spaghetti for the night. Skull Captain casts his gaze, red jewel shines and plays. Boom, bus a boom festival. The Stars Brothers best of friends. Three times red, last stash lands on his end. Blue stash's belly four times is whacked, so let's hear those fireworks go. Boom. At the pool, possible fast <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. I'll be here all week. You can leave your tips in the jar over there. <laughs> yes, now we are talking. Flavio told you, did he not? Nothing to fear, no. The island is right before our eyes. Do you not see it? It is a mountain of treasure. Oh, ho, ho, I feel fabulous. Shall I tell you one of my many tales of raw bravery? No, it is no trouble at all. There I was, locked in deadly combat with a sea serpent. Oh my god, I love this. <laughs> right, start it again. A tale of bravery, right? I heard this one yesterday. Nowhere to escape to and stuff to listen until he's finished. Throw him overboard. I mean, uh... Yeah, if you interrupt him mid-story, he'll absolutely lose his head too. Oh, uh, why is it... What? Wait, what's going on here? Ship's stopping. We ran out of gas! <laughs> oh, Master Flavio. Awfully, awful sorry to interrupt that wicked story. But the ship stopped. <laughs> you guys like my singing? That was, that was pretty great, right? Who is Four Eyes? Really? I wonder. I don't know, man. Oh, stopped, you say to me, Other in after interrupting a story of passion and fury. Well, it is your job to keep the ship moving, yes? Mm, so take care of it. I to slap you. I to slap you into a popped piece of corn, boy. Oh, aye, aye, Flavio. I'll get on it right quick. What a tick. <laughs> What a terrible captain, dude. Whoa, he can teleport too? That's awesome. Hey, Brian, I'm here now. How are you? Yo, what up, Super Rouge 5000, Nathan Prescott for life? I'm doing amazing, as always. How's your night going? Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Just wait. Game the stomping moment, you scallywags. There was a... There was a shiny... Oi! Quit shoving, eh? I'm working over here. I say quit shoving! <laughs> Oh, arr! that's what pirates say, right? I think so. What does this ruckus now? Who is here? Will someone tell me what is going on? And that that ship is on fire. Well, time to die. Time to die. No, they're upon us. Pirate ghosts! All them room. All them rumors were true. Oh God. What? What do we do? We gotta get out of here! Ah! <laughs> Even Bobbery, him and his broken spine are just running back and forth. How many? How can bombs fly and they have no hands? The power of imagination. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> do not panic yourselves! This is just a dream that we are all having. Uh, awake! Now, quickly move the boat! How do you move the boat? Get out and push, yeah! Fun fact, R is for when you're in pain. R is for everything else. What? A ghostly ooing thing. Are you really the savage pirate king? That's a pretty lame pirate king. Aye! Help me! Oh my god, the corn turned blue. Buck up now, everyone. Make some laws black. Don't panic. Relax, 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 I say. You simply must take it easy. What? Wah! Excuse me, listen everyone, if we can form an orderly line without shoving, forget that mega path! <laughs> Trump went overboard, he said, screw this, I'm out. Bobby, look alive, man! Aye, we must get out of here! 
Abandoned ship! Every rich mobile is merchant for himself! Oh my god, what a fool dude. And then they all drown to death. Can paper drown? I guess we're gonna find out. Let's take the ship and push it somewhere else. They're pushing it to the bottom of the sea, I guess. Fortune from disaster. The kindly sea washed us ashore. What strange irony that this island was our intended destination all along, no? And yet, we mourn. We have lost three crew members, including Admiral Bobbery. It pains me to think they were taken by the Pirate King, that ghostly thing. What happens to us now, huh? We may be lost without hope stricken in the wilds. We have made a semblance of civilized life here. We've all crafted loincloths and are running around. The ship's floats are washed in, and we now have salty bread and other salty things. I am particularly salty when I play League of Legends with my friends. Oh, we have Wi-Fi too, that's pretty nice. We can live for some time on this salty bounty of the sea, but then what I ask? Guess we'll have to eat each other. We have built a few huts from the washed up timbers. Ah, oh, poor sweet SS Flavion. At least the shanties keep out the wind and rain. We still have had no sign of bar. Oh god, coffee time. <laughs> Bobbery and the other, and my heart, she doubts. <laughs> Still, despite my fears, we must continue to hope that they are alive somewhere. Three days on the isle now, and all the huts are finished. We have carved a life out here that we all dream of a return to Rogueport. Nah, I could go for the Tarzan lifestyle, it seems fun. Yo, aw, Mario's so dedicated, he's like, Where is Bobbery? That dude owes me five dollars, I will never, forget, never give that up. Oi, Captain Stash. It ain't much, but we finished a wee up for you to rest in. Come have a look. And finally, we are in Chapter 5 territory. Captain, please help us. Why have you a in a huge fight? Oh, God. Oh, God, this. <coughs> and what about you, Squinty? You turned, up, you turned to jelly when you saw all those ghosts. What are you talking about? You were the one quaking in his boots, fancy pants. They're not boots. They're Louis Vuitton dress shoes. Wait, wait one moment. The, did you just call the great Flav your fancy pants? That's right, fancy pants, fancy pants, fancy pants, fancy pants, fancy pants. Well, you little cyclops! If you think my pants are so fancy, I may as well just take them off. Flavio demands satisfaction. You, me, hammers at dawn. I don't have arms, I really can't do that. <laughs> and off they go to fight whack a mole, yep. Oh, what up, SethZilla42? Welcome to the stream. I don't think I've seen your name before right now, so. Oh, God. Captain Stash, them go some back. Uh-oh. SpaghettiOs. It's the Goon Squad. It's Team Flare, everybody. <laughs> Mario front and center. That's an old Take care of these ghosts. Dang it. I want to see Flavio fight, actually. I think that would be hilarious. But here we go. Let's fight, everybody. I hope they put that uh, Captain uh, Captain Salty Bomb McNoobers versus Flavio on the Gold Star or something. But yes, you're blaming with base, Captain Stash. Too early to celebrate, no? These are surely more of them elsewhere, huh? Someone must investigate the rest of the island. Yes, the whole rest of the island. Bruh. Bruh. That is what must be. As leader of this expedition, I, of course, should stay here. On this, I broke no argument. Ah, oh, yes, of course, Mario. Perhaps you can handle the exploration of this island. Nah, bud. Ah, oh, well, we cannot just sit here and sun ourselves all day like mermaids, are. Huh? Someone must get out there and look around. This is not a thing to be argued. So, we'll decide this fair and square, hmm? Everyone, all in favor of Mario exploring the island, please raise your hands. Well, half these people don't even have hands, just the toads. And I got two Italian hands right here, so screw you, my dude. Ah, oh, there you have it. We all count upon you. Good luck, bold explorer. Well, welp, that is that, I guess. Here we go. It's cursed ghosts. Blast it all! <gasps> Yo, it's your boys! Bobbery, Smobbery, and Lobbery Crump. I mean, by Blobbery's Blotches, is that Mario over there? You're alive, old boy! Right, you came just in the nick of time. Get these two out of here this instant! <laughs> what about you, Admiral? You gotta get out of here, too! Just leave it to me, eh? I'll keep these girls busy while you get out of here. Flee! That's an order! Let me do what I must do! Now away with you! Are you sure it's a good idea to have the dude with a fuse on the back of his head that could kill him at any time? Fight the fire. Whatever. Whoa, my god, yo. Bobbery is such a BA, dude. Whoa, Bobbery here thinks it's the right thing to do, so what are we waiting for? <laughs> he picks this up, that's awesome. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, Barbary, please forgive our cowardice. We have been left here and everything was happening so quickly. Forgive us. <laughs> and he leaves anyway. Go on, eh? Excuse me. But I better be going also. He looks really awkward when he jumps. And hey, you! Out there in front of the TV! Yeah, I'm talking to you! What's that, number four of this game? <laughs> God, it may be pretty obvious to you who I really am, but no telling Mario, or else! Yeah, he looks like a uh, character from a, like, Nick Jr. show or something. You're out there in front of the TV? Did this guy go nuts or what? I'm guessing so. I ain't leaving Bobbery behind, though. What the heck, dude? Is he still out here fighting? I don't remember the order that you're supposed to do stuff in here. No, he is not. It looks like he's dead and gone forever. Bye-bye, Bobbery. Goodbye. Nice knowing you. You're dead. Uh, either way, let's go fruit shopping, shall we, ladies and gentlemen? All moms like to fight against Vivian and Fire Flowers, so it must be in their nature. Yeah, yeah, sure. Got ourselves that coconut, though, and I'm kind of hungry. I don't know, man. Um, doesn't make sense to me. That's like bringing... That's not even bringing a knife to a gunfight. That's like bringing a gun that's facing backwards to a gunfight. Like, the gun is pointing at you, so when you pull the trigger, you just shoot yourself in the face. That's what that seems like to me. TBH. IMO. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, 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 there was a shine sprite there. Well, we can get that minute. Uh, uh, you're... So this is how a legend of the sea beats his end, eh? Facing off against... Very... Okay, goodbye. Well, see you later. I guess you don't really care about me anyway. Don't worry, I wouldn't either. Oh, I kind of want this badge, actually. Bobbery, you're gonna have to hold on a sec, buddy. Actually, I think we have to backtrack this way anyway, so we'll worry about that in a second. Bobbery, I'm coming to save you! He's, like, already dead. Like, well, I shouldn't have checked my phone before I came in here, please. Oh, the pain of it all! And he's dead. And he's dead. Goodbye. Time to bury him, Mom. Oh, Mario, boy. Ugh. <laughs> I guess those blokes got me a bit better than I thought. Shouldn't have had all that windy last night either. Mario, please hear my last request. I must thank you for taking me out to sea one last time. But there is one thing I need before I go to the brain rest. Chocola Cola. I like how when he talks, he like puffs his chest out and stuff, and then he's like, I need some Chocola Cola. Oh god, I'm gonna die. I was saving that one bottle, my last memory of Scarlet, to celebrate reaching here. I saw it among the floats and drifting toward the island, so it must be somewhere. If I must, if I might have just one sip before my final voyage. Ugh, get me that Chocolate Cola, old boy. What a lame last request, man. Well, I guess it reminds him of Scarlet or whatever, so it's fine. It's fine. Yo, reference to your Superstar Saga, let's play the Chocolate Cola. Throwing it back, yo! Like a whole month, maybe. <laughs> What did that Let's Play finish? Did you guys watch that Let's Play, by the way? Um, Superstar Saga? I know all the Mario fans on the channel are probably here right now, because this is... What do you guys prefer? Uh, Superstar Saga and Partners in Time and, like, that series, the Mario RPG series? Or, um, Paper Mario? I gotta say, they're both good, but I am a Paper Mario guy myself, through and through. Like, Bowser's Inside Story is really good, though, I'll give you that. But a lot of the, um... Mario RPG games, they're just getting longer and longer as the series goes on, it, is what it feels like, so, um, I don't know, man, it's really hard, like, what's the one after Bowser's Inside Story? Dream Team or whatever? I, I haven't played Dream Team or Paper Jam, but Dream Team is like, I see Let's Plays of it on YouTube, and it's like, part 125, and I'm like, god, that is a long game, and that's with people, like, cutting out battles and stuff, so that is a lot of playtime. I really want to play through Dream Team, because I heard it's really good. I heard Paper Jam's pretty good, too, but I don't know if I'm Oh, man, we are pretty evenly split, actually. We got, uh, Akua Tenchi's is Paper Mario, Seth Zillis is Mario and Luigi, Mr. Sora, Mario RPG, Kalana Manju... Kalana Manjuna. Manjuna? I'm sorry, I'm butchering your name, probably, says Paper Mario, first three games. I feel you on that one. Uh, Paper Mario is good. I like both, but it's kind of hard to pick one. That's true. It is really hard to pick one. I don't know. Because both of them do have, like, really wacky characters. And it's, like, really, like, endearing, you know? They both have really, really funny characters, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Um, oh god, this is so annoying. I forgot they can do that. <laughs> Jeez. Um. But yeah, they both got really funny characters, really interesting worlds. 
Um, really cool battle styles, for sure. For sure. Honestly, Mario RPG, theirs is a little more in-depth. It's not necessarily better than Paper Mario's, because Mario's, Paper Mario's is so simple, but it's so, so fun and satisfying with, like, the badge system or whatever, because it's not stat-based. Kind of. It's kind of stat-based, but not as stat-based as, you know, the, um, Mario RPG games. But there's more, like, special moves and stuff in those ones, I guess. Well, I mean, there's probably the same number, but, like, you have to equip your badges different in this game. Actually, there's a lot... A lot of special moves in both. I guess there are quite a few similarities between them, huh? <laughs> I don't even really know what I'm talking about right now. All I know is that, um, both of them are really good. You guys do have a point when you say that. But over here, everybody's enjoying some tay time, everybody. Oh, you are still alive! Well, we have some fortune left. Such relief for Flavio. I thought some jungle beast was snacking on you. I wanted to eat you. I mean, uh... As funny as Brian as I woke up at 5 a.m. in the morning after you drank coffee during the stream. Oh, God. Oh, golly. 5 a.m.? That's right! Bobbery sacrificed himself to save us from the ghosts! Please! We've got to go back and help him! What lunacy burst forth from your mouth? The Admiral lives! What fortitude! Mario, front and center! I entrust you with a mission to save our dear Admiral. Got you, bro. He's done been saved. Did you call a cola? Well, why would I have that? But, uh, yes, by the way, Flavio's merely curious what you need it for. What now? The Admiral Waste may soon perish, but he wants to drink it as his last wish. Ah, oh, so what are we dealing we are dealing with here is a sort of last request, am I correct? Well Flavio has no choice. I found it on the beach, but for this noble cause, I yield. However This Chocola Cola is part of my mm, I mean our supplies, which we need to survive. So I will need you to find something to eat to replace this. On this I do not budge. How about we eat you, you giant piece of gross corn, dude? I'm sure there is something on this island that would be a suitable replacement. Uh, yeah, how about you eat my butt, dude? <laughs> so what will you give me in exchange for this delectable Coca Chocola Cola, hmm? How about you can give him all the delicious stuff. You can bring Jelly Ultras here and give them to him and he'll be like, No, no, does not sit my taste. It's not gluten-free, vegan, GMO-free, grass-fed, farm-raised, farm-fresh, right out of the chicken's bum. You gotta give him this coconut. Aha! A coconut, is it not? Well, that is island fare, but somewhat cliched. Oh, well, perhaps I'd set my hopes too high for a foraging non-gorman such as you. Well, here you go. Take the Chocola Cola and give my regards to the Admiral. And we get Flavio's treasure beverage. Actually, it's Bobberies. Haha, <laughs> what a clever caption. I love the cap. Everything in this game has so much charm, though, actually. Okay, no, Brian, we do not eat butts here. Hey, man. You're right, you're right. Keep a behind closed doors. <laughs> Tell him to waft the bouquet, swizzle it gently, and savor all the fine busyness. How about you go suck a truck, dude? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> How do I get this badge? Oh! I did it! See? 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 That is some clever use of the fact that we are paper characters. And, uh, yeah, we might want to equip this, actually, because there are quite a few fire characters this time. What up, Bob? Have your cola, Bob. Mm -hmm. Sniff! Sniff! And sniff! 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 Oh, that distinctive bouquet. You, you've brought it. Ah, this glorious flavor, dear boy. It awakens the mouth. So the sea was generous enough to deliver me this one last grace, eh? No, this is actually a Coca-Cola sponsorship, and we're getting paid $5,000 for this. I have nothing left in this world now. Thank you for granting my last wish. Now I shall be reunited with my dear Scarlet. Farewell, Captain Mario. Rest in peace, Barbary. I'm gonna miss you, dude. <laughs> hey, Gonzalez, I think maybe Bobbery's just sleeping, yeah! No, I think the soda actually put him in a coma just now. He is! And here I was getting all choked up. Give him a wake-up whack. Oh, he ain't just getting a wake-up whack. He turns around, too. Oh my god, what a clown, dude. I love this game. He's getting the wake-up whack. That did nothing. Jeez. Hop, hop! What, what? Yobity yobity pirates! Where are the pirates? Jack, Captain Jack Sparrow! Uh, uh, Barney the Dinosaur! No, not quite not quite with it yet, huh? What now? Oh. Mario, boy, it's you! You have adventures in the afterlife as well. Capital! 
<laughs> Thanks for both dead. Oh my god. <laughs> sad looking Brian makes me sad, dude. I'm sorry. Oh, Mario. Oh. Hey, you're still alive, you nutcase. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Yes, well, really, there is a tropical paradise for fallen sailors. Oh, right. Now I recall. Mario, oh boy, we still have work to do. You better take me with you, I should say. I'm sure my sea leg's an explosive personality. <laughs> Will be rather useful, eh? And we get the greatest partner in the history of all time. I love Bobbery, dude. Oh my god. This boy is the bomb, if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> He's got a bit of a short fuse. <laughs> but uh, when he gets into battle, he is explosive. <laughs> Oh god! Oh, what is wrong with me? Oh my god. Ugh. I was planning on taking a nap today, but that video I recorded earlier took like three hours, so I couldn't do it. But yo, we got your boy, Bobbery, and we can carry him around like he's our little baby, and then he'll blow up on us and uh, kill us all. So that's a pretty cool feature, too, is the mass murder feature. Oh my god. And, uh, do we come over here yet? I don't remember exactly. No, I'm pretty sure we have to go back to, uh, Flavio and company. So, backtracking! Huzzah! The signature move of Thousand Years Over. Honestly. Ah! Oh, it's Bobbery! Welcome back to you! Do you know how worried we were? My stomach has been most upset! It wouldn't be if I had some Chocola Cola to drink you so- Oh, I must worry about everyone here. But who worries for Flavio? No one! Do you know how hard that is for me to sit here in safety and worry so much? I do not know what is out there waiting to lurch in and snack upon me. We do not know, even know how to get home for the sake of the blue briny sea. But no more yelling. Now is the time to pull together and work as a team. God, the old boy. I must say, you talk rather too much. Oh! Give it to him, Barbary. Give it to him. That's why this boy is a savage. Such insolence, girl. I growl at you like an angry jungle beast. I are too. So in any case, Mario, about that crystal star you spoke of earlier. There was a rather odd rock in the far east of the jungle with a light s with a skull carved into it. Caught an old sea bomb's intuition, but that skull rock smells suspicious. Heh <laughs> heh. Hey, Bobbery. You want to know it really smells suspicious? Flavio's <laughs> armpit. It smells like low time. <laughs> but seriously, you may be onto something with that skull rock. I say that's where the treasure is. Well, anyone could figure that out, you mutinous joker. I mean, how obvious. I was already saying in my head that the treasure is certainly behind that rock. And as such, I will continue the noble duty of protecting this camp from invasion. Captain Mario, carry on. I'm sorry to make so many requests, but you know. Bam, you old crack cash grubber. If you want treasure, why don't you go get it yourself? Oh, uh, well... Yes, Admiral. You see, I... 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 Hey, look over there! It's a flying pasta! Well, yes, you have a point. Let's decide this fair and square, shall we? Listen to me, everyone. Who thinks I should go along to investigate the Skull Rock? Everybody. Everybody does. Excellent if they ma remade the old Spyro games. Yo! Spyro was... Wait, Trash Boat? You're eating dessert pizza? What kind? Hold up. See you later, um, whenever you get back, Eric, A Eric Atkinson. Thanks for coming out so far. What kind of dessert pizza are you eating? But yes, the Purple Dragon Spiral, that's my boy. Love that game. Never actually beat any of them when I was a kid. I got really close. No scar. <laughs> um, no, not fair. Love you, hate you all. And yay, he joins us. If only this piece of corn could, uh, if only this piece of corn could, uh, could fight with us, man. I wonder what his moveset would be, but look at this. I have always loved this so much. Yo, with my goon squad. Dude, this is how I want to roll with my homies when I'm thugging through town. Just riding one on top of another. Just so we're like this tower of humans. That, my friends. That, ladies and ge gentlemen, is the dream. <laughs> Here we are at Mario and Luigi's statue. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Ah! Now what is all this? A dead end taunting Flavio with his dead endedness. Uh -huh. Is this... I think this is the Skull Rock blobbery... Blobber, blobbery babbered about. Uh -huh. Well, it positively reeks of ancient secrets, yes? Let us plunge into this puzzle. I get it plunged because I'm a plumber and I use plungers. <laughs> <clears throat> so, he's over here singing the answer, right? Uh, three times red stash lands on his end. Four times on the blue. Ah, uh, the boo boss boo festival. Yeah, buddy. Boom, boo, jing, jong, boo, boom, boom, bang, bang, boom, 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 bo
boom, boom. What? Is that not what I'm supposed to do? One. Two. A three. I think I might have messed it up by accidentally hammering the red dude first. Dang it, man. Why? Why do you taunt me so? What is the problem? What am I doing wrong? Oh, do I have to put the, um... The jewel in first? Hey, Gonzalez, doesn't Flavia have a gem that might fit in that eye hole? Sure! Yeah, you gotta go talk to him first. <clears throat> okay, okay, yup, yup, yup. It is not like Flavio was scared or anything, but you know something, I've never been able to know that na that song's meaning. Hey, you wanna help us, you lazy son of a gun? What is it you ask of me? You want Flavio to lend you something, is this correct? Now, what can I possibly have that you would need for such anxiousness? The cola cola coins. I could go for some coins, bruh. What? You want me to lend you the skull gem? You really, really need it. This is the heirloom of the house of Flavio, you know. But I suppose it is alright, because I am Flavio, he of such ludicrous wealth. Wow! I'm just lending it, though. Do not dare run off with it. Do not make me dock pay. He wouldn't give us coins if we asked him, but he will give us this priceless heirloom that his mother handed down through the generations. Alright, now we can hit this dude with our butt, and our butt works its magic like it's supposed to, and bang, bong, boom, Mario and Luigi have given us the key to success in life. Major key. Minor key. Those are the keys you need to learn to play piano. Would you rather be a Yoshi in real life, the black one, that's yours, or have no emotions? <laughs> that might be the weirdest thing I've been asked all day. I'd rather be a Yoshi, man. I'd be so cute. Everybody would love me, dude. I'd be so adorable, and everybody would be like, Oh, you're wearing a diaper, and you poop yourself all the time, but it's okay. Oh, such excitement! The cave entrance! Mm -hmm. Huh? What? Ah, oh, my skull gem! M -m Mario, what were you thinking? The gem was part of the house of Flavio! That, that's a piece of rock candy. I don't even care. Oh, what a happy day. I miss Skull Gym back. My jolliness has no end. Uh, now then, I'm sure you're all disappointed, but Flavio must be heading back now. I cannot let those back at camp worry about me further. You do understand, yes? So let me know when you find that glittery treasure, all right? Screw this guy, dude. Screw this guy. Your voice for Flavio makes me think of him as Prince. The Prince from Mario and Luigi. Ah, oh, Prince Peasley has come once again to the rescue. They are kind of similar, huh? Flavio's is a little bit more. Oh, I am Flavio. I want to flav your O's. Flavio is on avail available on sale now. 100% whole grain. Scoffing at danger, my brave explorers entered the cave, fueled by Flavio's. Will they actually find the Pirate King's treasure? I tremble with anticipation. But with strong anticipation, because I have grown into a powerful adult thanks to Flavio's. Here we go in the Pirate's Grotto. Finally, the proper dungeon. Of this chapter. Jeez, that was a long enough intro. Ooh, turn back. Back it up, girl. Back it up. Go no further. You will never leave. I'm fine with that, man. I could be a pirate ghost. That's always been my dream, actually. All right, so there is definitely a star piece in this room. There can't not be. I'll bet you all 50... Who wants to bet me that there's a star piece in this room? I bet money, good money, good cold hard cash. That 500 coins was not a star piece here. All right, we're shaking on that right now. I bet all the money. 500 coins. That's 500 coins. Pay up. Pay up. Come on, come on, come on. No, not 500 coins, but you at least have to leave a like. <laughs> How about that? How's that for promotion? Jeez. Oh, sweet, sweet salvation. I thought no one would ever come. I'd given up. What's that? Spare you the prologue and just curse you already. Now, how did you know I was going to do that? <laughs> no, seriously, hang on a sec. Can't you just listen to my spiel for a little bit? I've been locked here forever, bored stiff, doing nothing but practice this speech. <laughs> huh? Already the fourth person chest you met. Are you serious? So, you're saying you know exactly how this is all going to turn out? Man, talk about a raw deal. You're a twisted little guy, you know that? Okay, fine, 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 fine. I get the picture, okay? Just something I wanted to do was see the face of some unlucky soul when I popped out. Is that so much to ask? No. Anyway, what are you waiting for? Just open it already. You know what the key looks like, Mr. Seen It All already. Some ghost here has it. So just bait him, get it, and we'll get this farce over with. Come on now, I'm waiting. <laughs> oh, man, that's so funny. I love these chests, dude. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, whoop you do. You got the key, party time. Now let me out already. Alright, here we go. Since you're just itching to get this over with. Ahem! 
Wee! Falls! <laughs> oh my god, this feel all over again. Jeez, golly gosh. Brian explained, why did I not see a Bronworth snap today? Oh my god. Yo, I feel so empty in my life. Because I ran out of Bratwurst. Yesterday was my last Bratwurst. I didn't have a priest re Oh, God. No, dang it! Ah! Freaking... Freaking demon. You and your tricks, dude. Um, my last Bratwurst was yesterday. I don't have any more Bratwurst. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how I'm going to make it through tomorrow. Because, God, dude. That Bratwurst was just driving me through the week, man. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Press the panel. Press Y. Press Y. Trash boats. Oh my god, it literally is a trash boat. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, hey, listen. Thanks for letting me do my thing. I feel better. Yo, even demons need some purpose, man. <laughs> that is hilarious. Um, you think that guy in the chest is actually on our side? Maybe, maybe. Is it like the same guy every time? Or, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, but what was I gonna do? Oh, yeah. Guess it's time for Snapchats, everybody. Joe Skinner sends... It's bomb! Oh my god. Yo, you caught- You were waiting for that snap. That is dedication. You were sitting there with your camera like... When's he gonna pause it? When's bomb gonna be on the screen? When's bomb's name gonna be on the screen? <laughs> That's awesome. Yo! Ultra Plasma Nerd, did you draw this third Mario Bro mud kit? That is so cool. Meta Lucy sends. Oh. Uh, yo, more fan art, man. You are such a- <laughs> Wait, hold up. I gotta- I gotta replay that. Can I replay that? No, dang it! Oh my god, this fan art is so cool! Hold up. I can't replay the high five thing. That was hilarious, by the way. I'm sorry. But, yo, look at that! That is third Mario Brother, the Shadow Siren. TJ? Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> TJ, you're a clown, my boy. Joe Skinner sends. Oh, yo! <laughs> that is so... It it has, like... <laughs> oh, my God, that's so cute. Jeez, you guys are awesome. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Yes, with that, we're gonna go ahead and move on with the stream. If you guys are chilling and you are enjoying yourselves, please make sure to leave a like on the stream down below if you haven't already. I would really, really appreciate it. Oh, wow, there's a shine sprite right there. Did I miss that before? Were you guys yelling at me for the shine sprite and I just missed it like an idiot? I think I think that's what happened. I think that's what happened. Hey, something's coming! There! Floating on the water! Oh my god, it's your boys. Man, I can't breathe, guys. Is that a is that a bow? Hey! Over here! Save us, please! There's shouting at like a definitely inanimate looking piece of paper. <laughs> I just realized how close to the end of this dungeon we are, actually. Dang. Making pretty dang good time, if I do say so myself. Sonic has a mod that is, like, Paper Mario. Really? In, like, Generations or what? I would love to check that out. TTG Carlos. LMAO! The credits would be, like, Voices Brian. Wait, for what? For what? If I, like, had a video... Dude, if I had a video game, that would be the biggest meme ever. <laughs> I don't know how you did it, but you saved us! We came here looking for that pirate treasure, and then, well... Our ship got surrounded by ghosts out on the ocean, and we all ended up here. And they've all got Kanye West merchandise on. <laughs> hey, aren't you Mario? It's me, me, Don Piazza's daughter, Francesca, and Frankie's here too. How are they, like, completely clean and fine? After my dad forgave us, we set out on a trip. Ship we were on got a little too close to this island, and now look at us. Still, I'm amazed that rumors about Cortez were not true, which means he's nearby. I love their wedding rings, dude. They're like this big around on their hand. That's awesome. <laughs> that is so funny. Hey, so by the way, why are you here? Oh my god, he turns into a paper airplane and a paper boat because he's Paper Mario. Wait, is this sarcasm or did you just realize this? Hold up. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't tell me daddy had you come here to take us back. I ain't talked about it, man. He told me he'd kill me. What? You're after the pirate's treasure because of my container crystal star? Well, I think the treasure was right in there, watched by Cortez's spirit. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be able to take care of him, though. You look tough. Besides, Cortez is the one that trapped us on that raft, so smack him one for me. You got it. Hey, what's up, Frankie? Frankie and I are just so in love anytime, anywhere, no matter how dank. It's the dankest love in the world, baby. 
Hey, Pooping Pie. Cool it, will ya? I mean, come on, babe. Everybody's watching. Aw, Frankie's embarrassed. That's cute. I can't kill anybody, can I? No, I'm sorry. Why is my first instinct to just murder a bunch of toads? <laughs> Some poor toads that have been stuck in there for a million years. Whoa! Did you get here, bro? Whoa, did I surprise you? <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Uh, see, I actually followed you in here, but I got lost along the way, and, uh... Well, anyway, I followed this path, and I found I can't help with you, and then, uh, Listen, just forget it, okay? I'm sure the crystal stars inside that pirate ship. The pirate king Cortez is in there, too. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, probably. No big deal, though, right? You can take him, big guy. We're counting on you to make America great. I mean, boy, I sure am. And so is Grotus. Uh... What happens if you title on this, dude? Rubella's got it. She ain't that smart. This guy's called Four Eyes. He's one of the sailors who came along to kill Hall Key. It's the weirdest thing. I feel like I've seen him somewhere before, though. Really? Maybe I'm just nuts. You are a little bit nuts. Yo, alright, so, right now, actually, somebody said they made some fan art on Twitter, so let's go ahead and show it off on stream. I'm not gonna check Snapchat yet. We'll do that after, um, after some stuff gets done. But, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to take on probably the hardest boss in this game, in my opinion. Um... Well, it depends on what level you are and what badges you have and stuff like that. But, anyway. Yo! Oh my god! You guys are so talented! This is so... Look at this art style! It's the third Paper Mario Brother! Look at that! Yo! That is so adorable! Thank you so much to Sammy the Alligator. That is so cute! Oh my gosh! That is definitely going on the stream start screen tomorrow, if you don't mind. I'll tweet you later just to make sure, but... Yo, that's so amazing. I'm going to retweet this right now. <laughs> that is so cool. It's so cute. It's so cute. I love it. I'm a sucker for cute stuff like that, man. And for fan art. So if it's cute fan art, just blow me away, man. Okay, and jump straight in the water. going to start this fight with one less HP. That's awkward. <laughs> but it's time for Cortez. And, um... Before we go ahead and get into this fight with Cortez, I would really appreciate it if you guys would leave a like on the video down below, because this is about to be super, super intense. Because this was the one that I always sucked at when I was a kid. I could never time the action commands against him, and the fact that he has all these forms or whatever, it's like, I eh, just... Never, ever, ever could deal with it. Super, super death Mario, said Jacob McGuire. Yep, that's what it's about to be. Ooh, you ignored my warning! Ooh, come inside the door and be lost in darkness for not following the terms and conditions. Am I gonna die? Who believes I'm gonna die? Because there is a good chance that I'm gonna die, actually. Ooh, come into my... <laughs> oh, 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 God. Oh, hello. Oh, God, it's drafty in here. Enough, I grow tired of the spooky O business. I'm a pirate blasted. Pirates do not moan. I am a cold-blooded villain who robs innocence of life and live, not a crying ghost. And you are after my treasure. And this, this is my ship. What are you doing here? Speak! I'll turn your mustache into a bone polisher, amigo. Yo ho 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 error. Error in Cortez.exe. Uh It'd be funny if there were badges that harmed you but to negative VP. Yo, that would be sick actually. I'd probably have 30 of them equipped just so I could get more power pluses on. But here we go against Cortez, and I don't remember this dude's attack patterns very well at all, so we might end up having a bit of a bad time. I kind of wish we had a little more, um, star power, actually, because I want to do a, uh, power bounce, but it looks like that's not gonna happen. We can either hit him, or we can hit the bone pile. I'm gonna hit him right in his stupid pirate head. Gonna style on him, too. I don't care if he's 8 billion years old and could kill me almost immediately. Um, because I am a plumber, and I don't worry about such silly things faith in you, Brian. I bet 10,000 coins that you can do this. Didn't you just bet against me earlier? Ah, dang it. Yeah, that his, for some reason, his action, action commands are so difficult, dude. But thank you. I appreciate it. With your strength, we will be able to make it through this fight, also with overpowered power lift, which I think I said uh, I wasn't going to use anymore, but I just remembered that I said that right now as I started using it. So, if we get above two power up, I'll turn this off, but, man, we are just rolling through it right now oh my god plus three power all right it's over 
Hey, this dude does have multiple forms, though, so it doesn't really matter if we take out his first form in, like, a turn or something. So, I'm not too worried. I'm not too worried. He's a bit hard to guard against. I think he's super... I don't think I've ever guarded one of his attacks, honestly. This dude is huge. He is, isn't he? Not even, like, a third as big as a hooktail was, and that didn't really matter in her fight. His fight? I gotta look that up. Like, is hooktail cannon dude or lady? Who knows? That did a lot of damage. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Took him out in one turn, man. There goes Cortez. Yeah, I'm not gonna use power lift anymore. In fact, I might defend these next two turns to make this a little more fair, because wow, that was wild. We get another attack, too? Yeah, no. There's no way. You get out of here, fool. Freaking dry bones. He's like, <laughs> of course it's a dry bones when we're taking on a skeleton boss. Jeez. I'm gonna go ahead and appeal. Can he charge up in this form, though? I don't remember. Yeah, I'm gonna appeal twice. I don't want to make this too cheap, man. I want something a little more, uh... A little more, uh... A little more exciting. Oh, that did no damage! God, this power lift is ridiculous. Okay. So, we can power balance him or the bone pile. What do we want to do? Power smash won't really do much either. Let's go and power balance him, I guess. Doing stylish off stage. The crowd can't even see it, but they're like, Yeah, he probably looks cool. <laughs> Oh god. I want to use Bomb Squad, actually. Let's go ahead and use Cortez. Use it on Cortez. Boom. Boom. Biggity biggity bang. Yup, got him all in that bone pile, and he's gonna be hurt in a minute. Hey, we finally guarded an attack! Yo, that's crazy! Need more HP, man? Nah, who needs HP? That's just silly. You're a silly Billy. How would you say something like that? So, if those bombs go off, I think that should take him out, actually, in this form. Yup, there he goes. What, wait, is that, is that him going? Yep, there he goes. I think that makes these bombs use- Oh, no. Oh, gosh, golly, yarn. That sucks. Hey! Yo! <laughs> but the bombs are going off. And wait, did that get rid of his char- Oh my god, yes! We took out his next form. Now this next one is the hardest one. Because... <laughs> bombs are still going off. Oh my god, that is so unfair to him. That's crazy. Yes, yeah, so we threw some bombs- with the power of bombs, we will make it through. Um, what do we? What? What I should I do? What I should I be doing here? The reason this one is hard is because you can't actually jump on these swords and take them out. So Cortez sword, Cortez saber, hook, and rapier. Rapiers are cool, man. If only because of their name. Um. What to do? Uh, let's go ahead. I guess let's art attack, because I kind of want to take these things out. And I'm not too concerned with uh, keeping my star power right now, since we're not going to be doing any power lifts or anything. Oh god, this is probably a bad idea, actually. It's going to be so hard to get all these things right in, like, the huge circle. I don't think they have that much health, though, so maybe we should be able to take them out. And if we take them out, then maybe the rest of this fight gets real, real easy, real, real, real quick. I heard people recommend... Oh my god. I <laughs> took them all out. Dang. Who's throwing what? Hey, the one HP on the partner who didn't have um, HP taken away. All right, whatever. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Brian used Flurry. She too OP. She too OP. The hooktail is a female, after all. They say he sometimes is a game. It's weird. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I could use Flurry to blow the swords away, didn't I? Couldn't I? Huh. 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 Ah, I can't take much more of this. It's called for something special. Now you will see the true mind of my spirit form. <gasps> oh my god, I've been so hungry. Whoa, he actually just murdered all of those all in one. Whoa, yo, yo, golly gosh, that actually is a little bit, uh, <laughs> a little bit scary. Why do all the bosses eat all the crowd members? Why does anybody come to these shows anymore? Like, why would you, why would you come here? Why would you come here if there's actually, like, at least a 50% chance that you're gonna get eaten? I don't know, man. Yeah, I know. I realize Flurry can blow away the weapons, but... Um, that's the one time in this whole game, I'm pretty sure, where that move is actually useful. Like, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Let's see if this takes it. No, it's not even taking that. He just regenerated all of his HP. What the heck am I talking about? What the heck am I talking about? What the heck? What the heck? Okay, we'll use Flurry. The one time she's actually gonna come in, uh, come in handy. Ray K seventy five said, "Wow, that went dark. What went dark? What went dark? Uh, how do we even do this? I don't even know. Like, I 
All right, we got three of them. Whatever, I'll take it. We're gonna have to take one hit from that sword. I had no idea how to do that action command because I'm pretty sure I've used that move like maybe twice in my life at most. So, Cooktail gets her gender confused easily, just like. Oh, yo! Whoa, we beat Cordelia. Yo, that is a lot of star points. Yo, I will dig it. No, my treasure! Ah, the pirate. And then he shrinks. <laughs> I am done for. Ah, just kidding! You are foolish, amigo, for I am not dead. Well, technically, I was already dead, but my spirit endures tied to my treasure. So you cannot do anything to me. I do not live, amigo. Still, guarding this treasure for hundreds of years, as long as it's burning death. Alright, wanna go chill, play some video games, maybe? What? You're not even interested in my treasure. Heck no, dude. Why are you here? Dude, his voice is too intimidating. Huh? You want this, amigo? This little rock over here. Are you serious? Do I look like I'm joking? Well, I guess you can't see Mario's mouth or anything through his thick, burly mustache, but... Well, that's no big deal. You take it. What do I need one or two extra gems for? I did not really like that one anyway. I like, uh, green and not, uh, blue. Blue is not... Blue is a sad color. <laughs> but there we go! Got ourselves that young crystal star. Star power is now six. We can use Sweet Feast. Finally, a feast fit for a king and a feast fit for someone who's beaten. Chapter five. Yes. Woo! Making progress, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I've tried ramen. A ramen is awesome. I didn't in um in Japan. People were like, "Have you had this before?" I bet you don't know how to open it. And I'm like, I eat, th I drink this in Seattle all the time. Geez, do I look like an amateur? <laughs> but Cortez, scourge of the seas. Mario soundly defeated this fearful spirit and claimed the Crystal Star. Perhaps the peaceful citizens of the world no longer need to fear Cortez and his fear of fellowship. The only problem remaining is how Mario will escape this isolated island. Swimming! And could there be another problem still hiding beneath our hero's nose? Who knows, man? Who knows, man? Get it? Who knows? Because it's beneath his nose. And it's his mustache, and he really needs to shave it because it's getting kind of gross. Actually, even Pete's saying he's not going to do it. <laughs> It did sound like- Oh my god, it did sound like Kermit. <laughs> wow, I wasn't even going for that. Finish this early. I know, this is a lot faster than I thought it'd be. Well, that should do it. If you don't need anything else, go away with you, amigo. I messed that up. <laughs> and then, I heard something my ears could not believe. We had actually discovered the legendary treasure of the Pirate King, Cortez. Don't tell me Flavio's gonna pop in here and try to steal all my money right now, dude. Yo, he throws us out? What a jerk. Jeez. Come on, Court. Come on, Cordy. I'm gonna call you Cordy from now on, alright? Cordy, Cortez, Quartz. I don't know. I don't have, I don't have any good nicknames for him. I'm sorry. But, let's hop back on Bomb like we need to do. Like we do. Like we make it happen. Am I? Yes, I am healed up. Oh, yeah, we just leveled up, huh? Four eyes. Who's four eyes? I only got two eyes. I also can barely see. Yo, my eyes are getting so bad, and I'm pretty sure, because my TV is, like, right behind my webcam. I'm pretty close to it right now. I'm pretty sure this stream is destroying my vision, but the show must go on. Whoa, that was like an earthquake in there. You all right? Who's that toad? Oh, it's toad. Yahoo! You beat Cortez? Wow, you're really something. Yes. Now that you, you've you got some free time, why don't you get us out of here? Um... All that shaking causes this wall here to crack a bit. I feel a breeze. If we can break down this wall, I think we can escape. I guess that's not much help. What? A breeze? How are we going to bust a solid rock, though? I got it. Mario just starts punching it, and he's like, Ow, it hurts. Oh, God. Mario, don't be silly, dude. We got the solution to all of our problems. We got a bomb right here. Hold it up with pride. I think you're just tired. I don't know, man. Like, even when I, like, not even just today, but, like, post streams and then when I wake up in the morning and I'm like, oh, my God. Like, maybe they're just bad in general. <laughs> I don't know. Ha! Well, just like I said, well, me first. Come on, everybody. Let's get out of here. Dude, if I was in there, I'd be sprinting to the top. This damn cape air is just not good for my skin. Let's go, Frankie. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ring and Toad Brigade is coming through. Bomb the wall. 
Rub your hands to hands together and put your palms in your eyes for 30 seconds. It helps with eye pain. It's not that it hurts, it's just that it gets really like blurry. Save your lives, man. I'll never forget you. But at least man, I need to leave now. Yeah, dude, I would be out of there. They were all trapped in that gross cage together. It must have been nothing but mushroom sweat, which is probably the grossest thing I have said in a while. <laughs> mushroom sweat? Ugh. Out of my way. Can you like if I tried really hard, could I push these guys like oh no, they go back. Like tethered to a spot. Just glad my little dame is safe and sound. And my suit is pearly white. Did not get one bit of dirt on it. I didn't know what to do, Stranded, in that cave. But the whole thing was rather exciting. Oh, I love these characters. Get back to the car. My brother is waiting. So how the heck do we uh, stomp on out of here, Flavio? Oh, Mario, welcome back to you, my Star Wars captain. So, have you found the treasure? How is our little expedition bearing? What? The Spirits Cortez was guarding the treasure. And you beat him, but you left all the treasure there. Ah, what were you thinking? Were you trying to be nice? Oh, well, that's what I like about you, I guess. Aw, aw, Papad. Aw, I love this dude. Could it be? A brother? Uh, why is there a family reunion every single chapter? You, what are you doing here? I, I came looking for you, brother. All the way to this island I came looking. But ghosts attacked us. And I'm both just saying, but I found you now. Huh? You're both saying too. So you're all stranded here as well? <laughs> well, we're screwed. May as well go drink some coconut juice and cry until we die. Oh, what up, Matt? Yeah, you're in a car. <laughs> what? Hold on, huh? What was that? I am nearsighted. I am super, super nearsighted. Wait, a little late for what? Is Matt trolling? Died of Cortez, you die in real life. Oh, God. <laughs> Matt, you fo because you're driving, you're driving and watching a stream and commenting at the same time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, what is that? Oh my God, no! It's uh, it's uh, it's, it's uh. Pardon me, guys, but <laughs> I mean, but 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 oh God, dude, <clears throat> it's the Trump Tannic. So sorry to surprise you. No way. No need for that fake politeness anymore. Good job getting the crystal star. Oh yeah, seriously. Good job getting it for me. Why is this one of his horns droopy, dude? I'm sure they make a pill for that. Boy, now. Ain't that good on four eyes? Yeah, that is four eyes. What's he doing over there? Hey, four eyes. It's dangerous up there. What's with this lukewarm reception, huh? Dramatic entrance here! Oh, whatever! I'll spell it out for you idiots. You may have known me as Four Eyes, but I'm actually... B -b -b <laughs> the Great Lord Crump! Oh man, did I fool you! I was the mastermind in the shadows running this voyage. It hurts to be this good. Lord Trump is back with a brand new yacht. It cost him only one million dollars. And guess where he got that from? The bank. Starboard cannons, port cannons, fire, fire, fire! <laughs> Wait, aren't the port and starboard like the left and right? Isn't that gonna do nothing? Aye! Yikes! Four Eyes was a pirate all this time? Madness! What, what are we all standing around for? Cannons, people! We must flee! Look, we're sailors. We're not much good for anything without a ship to sail. Could we just go where you're not gonna get shot dead? I haven't! I'm a genius! We have a ship at hand, and a fine one, I must say. Mario! Turn into a paper boat so we can sail out there. <laughs> yes, my brain remembered what you said. You said that Cortez had a ship. Your brain remembered. If the legend is true, then we should be unstoppable in that cursed ship. Flavio, what are you talking about? That's crazy. This is Cortez the Pirate you're talking about here. Even if Mario did beat him. Why would he lend you a ship, huh? No cream you. Cut, re aim you. Cure him you. Hey, I may be a coward and a cad, but I still lead you. He's growing as a person, man. As a flake of corn, dude. He admits it. I have a duty to protect you. We will be cannon fodder if we sit and wag our tongues. We must at least try, Cortez. I want to hear no complaints. I am your leader and I will negotiate with this Cortez. Now, Mario, take me to this pirate scum this instant. We're bombing the Trump Tannic. Oh my god. <laughs> about to beat up Lord Trump. We're about to get turned into cannon fodder by Lord Trump. The... I was about to make another controversial joke. Oh my god, I gotta stay away from this stuff. <laughs> Time for more backtracking. At least it's only four steps this way, so it ain't even a big deal. Here we go. I wish Flavio would, like, fight with you or something. That'd be awesome, though. Flavio actually grew a pair of cannonballs. Yes, he did. <laughs> oh, 
god, what a bad now. Oh, what? It's you again. Did you forget something? Good as I have to speak to you. Mario's just like chilling. He's like, oh, what's going on on Facebook? And <laughs> Live video's over here pooping his trousers. Could you let me sh ship? What? Why would me lend you, me lend you my ship? And who are you anyway? M my name is Flavio. We're in big trouble. We can really use your ship. We must protect a group of bad pirates that are blasting us to bits. So we just need to borrow your ship for the teensiest little while. What are you talking about, muchacho? I do not rent this ship for pleasure cruises. And even if I would lend it to you, the ship is magical and it cannot move now. The key to borrowing the ship is the mystical skull gem. The skull gem? Y you mean this? Ah, you! You! Crate that soldier boy! Oh, crate that soldier boy! Oh. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, yes, I do. So, all right. What do you say to this proposition, then? Take the gem handed down through generations of my family and lend us your ship. I think this is a pretty fair deal, do you not think, Cortez, old friend? Old friend. Old friend? <laughs> your ancestors stole that gem from me, you strutting peacock. You must be very, 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 very foolish to ask such a thing of me. I'll turn you into a pinata and throw a party on the beach. There's no squiggly over that N. Typo. Bad game. <laughs> Wait just a moment! Do not make me a Mario Tranchu again. I love this stream so much and you're my favorite YouTuber. Oh, I thank you so much! That that warms my heart. My 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 silly little heart. While they fight you, I will throw the stone into the sea where you will never find it. How would that be? Yo! Cortez, or not Cortez, Flavio! Oh, you rattled my bones, Sen Senior Peacock! <laughs> Senior Peacock! <laughs> Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> very well. I accept your bargain, amigo. Now be very careful with that gem. Oh, check and make, Flavio. I did not make my fortune by failing in negotiation, no. You can talk your way through any deal, I say. Now you take this. Ah, just kidding. Time to kill you. <laughs> oh my god. Four out of ten, no squiggly again. <laughs> Oh my god. Hey, welcome back, I spin dash right. Ah, oh, no, my precious black skull will sit on the seas again. I'm gonna try to annoy you by the sound of cannons outside anyway. Now I can really stretch my bones and wreak havoc on the seas like in the old days. Ha! Time to murder thousands! Like what you're done, Flavio. So, Mario, feel free to thank me anytime for saving us all temporarily until we're all dead. But for now, we sail. And yo, this is so cool, man. I love this. Wait, do we have to go outside now or, or what? I, I guess so. He just left all his treasure right there, so I don't know why Flavio wasn't just stuffing his pocket. The dad is for football, I think. I don't know. God, I guess not. Shame, though. Doesn't seem like that'd be that hard. Hey, we're coming, too. Let's take them. Come on. All for one, guys. Boy, I let no Flavio fancy pants hold the glory. Come on, Captain Stash. And there he is, Cortez the boy. And the millennium since I gazed out upon the sea, come to the open waters! Dude, his eyes are gonna hurt when he steps outside. Dude, you know how you're in like a dark place for a while and you step outside in midday and you're like, ah! Oh. He's gonna be like, ah! Oh! <laughs> I got ammo to spare. How's that for boom, boss, boom? Fire cannons here. Without my permission, you have no mortal! Yo! <laughs> What the? This is so intense, dude. Like a big old game of Battleship. Oh my god, I love this. <laughs> Why are the X-Nauts, like, stuck to the... <laughs> stuck to the sails, dude? They're like, ah, help, I can't get down. Ah. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna sink this Radioco ship to the bottom of the ocean. Here, my boy spirits. Take their ship and show them the meaning of fear. Oh god, <laughs> forgot about this. Yeah, the toads are fighting too. Toads are finally, finally being useful in a Mario game. Ron, what's your favorite game that isn't from Nintendo? Oh god. That's a good question. I'll get back to that. Mario, my captain, it is now your turn again. Get over there and duel that cat. And now it's true for the fight. It's time for the true. Time for the true final boss of Chapter Five. B -b 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 I'm gonna turn you guys into wee seeds. Wait, that's not right. I'll turn you into seaweed! <laughs> Enjoy! Oh, and Trump built a wall of X-Nauts 
to protect him from our attacks, of course. He would. He would, too, wouldn't he? He totally would. Um, I guess let's go ahead and power bounce the fool. Stomp him in his stupid purple head. Get all this stylish points back, too. Uh, I guess we can't really do anything with Bobbery, so... I guess bomb the x -Nos. Bomb that wall! Tear down that wall! And, uh, that's really the only... Oh, God, that was pretty dang strong. We should probably take rid or get rid of those guys. He has the same exact attack as he did at the beginning of the game, though. How pathetic, Trump. Ain't even evolving. Jeez, I would never vote for you if I catch him. But, uh, I'll, I kind of want to try out Sweet Beast just because it's, like, so fun, but... Oh, goodbye, x -Nots. You're not gonna get off that easily, losers! Sad! Let's see how you like this! Puny intellect! Sad! x -Nots! Oh, God. Oh, I forgot about this. Yo! No, I should have got Quake Hammer back. I'm pretty sure you pretty much need Quake Hammer to have a good time in this fight, but... Oh, well... Theory, Trump got his ideas from TTYD. Someone please contact Game Theory right now. <laughs> oh my god. Should change the American flag to an x not flag if we get, if Trump gets elected. That would be, now that would be something. <laughs> Whoa, that, why do we jump from so far away? Did we do that the other time too? I don't know, no one, man. Power bounces is too OP, dude. Already taking him down. Oh, what is he doing in the back there? Is he, like, eating x knots? Is he- Oh, God! Oh, Lordy. Man, this is no good. I thought I was almost ace for a second there. But you haven't finished me off yet, you sea urchins! I'm down, but no way I'm out! Okay, so what to do? I guess we can only bomb the x knots. I'll just go and bomb them! You mean Trump? Nah, I mean Trump, dude. I definitely mean Trump. It's, uh, Lord Trump. Or Donald Trump, if you prefer that. Oh, that doesn't attack us twice? Okay, man, that did a lot of damage. So, and he gets an attack! That ain't fair, man. You ain't playing by the rules, crumpety trumpety. Um, I don't want to get rid of these x knots honestly. So let's go ahead and power smash them. We're, we're, like, with every attack, you're attacking the same place on screen. So it's like you're attacking one x knot the whole time. Poor Jerry, or whatever his name is. That dude needs to get paid overtime to accompany his, um, you know, horrible, probably, brain damage that he has. Why do we talk about brain damage so much in my videos, dude? <laughs> so ridiculous. Oh god, they're already back. Okay. Well, no use attacking them, then. May as well just, uh, bonk Lord Crump Trump on the head here. Eat your crumpets, uh, fool idiot. Hello. Yes, Matt Pat? Third Mario Brother has some v viewers on a theory for Trump. <laughs> yeah, get him on the line, dude. Need to talk to that boy. Gonna build a bigger wall. Oh no. It worked so well the first time. See, this is an allegory as to why the wall wouldn't work. It's just Mario would come and blow it up. An Italian man would just ruin the entire plan. Who doesn't speak English or Italian and really loves pasta a little bit too much. That's exactly what would happen. <laughs> Crump 2016, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, he should be about done. Ooh. Ah, dang it, I wanted that so bad, because Bobbery is actually not looking too hot right now. But, um, I think he should be done after, like, one more power bounce, even if he healed up the other Karen. So, uh, we need to go this if Bobbery wants to live. Oh, well, goodbye, Bobbery. The bomb has been blown. <laughs> oh my god, did we kill him with a super guard just now? Bobbery, no! I'm sorry, buddy! Wow, that's a lot of star points, actually. 20? Technically, yeah, we need how long have we been doing that since we started this? Whatever, man. We need to build a wall. We got this, Brian. Yeah, we got it, man. Man, this is getting old. How can I lose again? I hate losing. Now we're gonna think of another excuse for Grotus. Grr, and with that, pow, I'm gone. No, sink his ship, murder him. Send him to J Davy Jones' locker or whatever. We've done it, old boy. I should say, he won't be too keen on seeing us again, eh? <laughs> and he's so, he's like, oh god, you let me die. I am going to die at any second here. I guess he needs his one last, uh, Chocola Cola request or whatever. But, with that, that's the end of proper chapter 5. Let's see what we have going on Snapchat. I'll do that right at the end, actually, because we are actually really close to, um, really close to the end. We've got some Snapchats going on, and it looks like Jose tweeted something, actually. Quick fan art for today's stream. We'll check that out in a minute if you're still watching, Jose. Blew it again, Lord Crump. You sicken me. You don't have my vote. Look, I'm sorry. Seriously, we thought we thought we had the guy cornered, but 
Stop talking, Lord Crump. You just stand by until my next order. And, Lord Crump, think of this as your last chance. Understand? Roger that. Then leave. Dang, your boy just got told. Hey, you there. What is it, sir? Tell the Shadow Sirens to attack Mario again. And tell them not to fail this time. You got it, sir. The third Mario, by the way. I have one crystal star on my hands. Mario has five. I must take some measures. Oh, he does have a crystal star. Ooh. What would a bomb bleed, gunpowder? <laughs> bleed gunpowder? Oh, that is, that is, that's dark, man. Almost as dark as gunpowder. Tech called me in here again. I wonder what it is this time. They're getting lazy with the transitions. Like, oh, Tech just called me in. She is so annoyed. Tech, you're messing up, man. Tech? Was that noise you? What's wrong? What was that noise? <laughs> something really awkward. I must request that you do something a bit more dangerous this time. Dangerous? I would like you to sneak into Sir Grotus' room and look for a data disk. A data disk? How would you need that? Although I can view all data on the network, I am unable to access the data of computers that are not linked to the network. Sir Grotus has the information that even I am unable to view. Google.com. Darknet. Boom done. <laughs> but I must know it. I must know that information. But how will I get in there? Will I be disguised again? Not this time. No one other than Sir Grotus can enter his room. When Sir Grotus is elsewhere, there are guards outside the room that permit no entry. But there is a way. You will be fine if you act according to my instructions. I must tell you, I do not want to make you do such a dangerous thing. But now I have no one to ask but you. I don't mind, Tech. Really, ask me anything. Y'all are dumb! <laughs> well then, first leave the room and take the elevator up as you did earlier. Okay, goodbye! See you later! Time to go get caught and die! You'll first go in the opposite direction of Sir Grotus' room. Exit the elevator and enter the room with a green lamp laid above it. So that is this way, see? I believe. Keep on walking, Peach! For some reason, there's no guards out today. We don't need a disguise or anything today. We're just a-okay. I'm Peach, I'm out of my cell. I just gotta go ahead and eat all your food. Now I would have you concoct a potion that will make you transparent, and he's... Oh my god. Oh my god. And he's broadcasting all at the same time. <laughs> oh my god. Why is this music so banging, dude? I am digging it. That looks pretty good. That looks like some green... Like, Gatorade or Kool-Aid or something. My calculations have, should be finished. Yeah, it came out great, man. That looks amazing to me. That looks amazing to me. Give me a drink of that glug glug sipping on gin and juice, boys. You have done it. You have, you have unsuccessfully made you have successfully made yourself transparent. Congratulations. But I must ask you to take off your dress, however. Even the potion cannot make the dress invisible. What? That's indecent. No way. Oh, my God. This is silly. <laughs> oh, fine, I guess. If it's the only way. Just kind of take it off any... Oh, I thought she was going to go over to the changing room and do it. I was like, is that really... When you go into Sir Grotus' room, first locate the disk with the recorded data. Then insert that disk into the personal computer and connect it to the network. When you are finished with that, please come back to this room. I will teach you how to make yourself normal again. Gee, this is kind of a complicated plan, huh? I suppose. Now please go to Sir Grotus' room. Here we go! Yo, Peach. I like this look, man. I really, really dig it. Eh? Okay. Oh yeah, that was creepy. Why did the doors open even though no one here? I'm not looking, or am I just totally losing it here? You're totally losing it, man. You're totally losing your job, that is. Because <laughs> you weren't even here earlier, and I just walked in there, straight, broad daylight. Also, why do I have a shadow? It's kind of weird. The tech can still see her when she changes. Nah, man. Nah, 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 nah. PG, ladies and gentlemen. PG. Brian, will we ever see bosses again? Bosses? What do you mean, bosses? I don't know what you mean. Brian, you better keep your day job because you sure ain't gonna make it as a dancer. Hey, man, I dance because I love it, okay? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, why is there a shadow? That don't make any sense. It's supposed to be Grotus' room. Now, where is that disc? Why am I talking out loud doing the one thing that could get me found out? Found it? This must be it. Right behind the, uh, the, the episodes of Paper Gone Wild. Um, oh, yeah. Now, we insert the disc into the computer and connect to the network. Yup, don't know how you would know how to do that. Yo, isn't this some sort of reference to like an NES game? I did it. Yes, I did it. Now it's working. Or like an arcade game or something. I don't know. 
should be if it's not. I can't, I can't tell at all. Yo! Okay, there was a red and a green, so that's Mario and Luigi. It was a really inefficient program. Looks like it's all done. Better put the disc back where I got it. <laughs> and now, whenever he opens his computer up, it's gonna go to memezone.com. Ha 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 ha. He's gonna get rickrolled. <laughs> Funny. Pretty sure there's a shadow to show where you are. Yeah, that makes sense for us. But, like, if this dude saw a shadow running around, he'd be like, Oh, what's that? What's that? And, like, chase it around like a cat, but... Maybe x knots just don't look down. They're so... Their posture is so good, they just look straight this whole time. Who knows? Also, my posture, like, I start slumping way, way, way more as the stream goes on. I already know that. <laughs> oh, my God. 10-15? See, I got my maths in order, dude. Thank you, Princess Peach. I was able to obtain the data I desired. Is that right? Well, I'm glad. I'll teach you how to become invisible again. It's quite simple, actually. Merely drink the green potion. You'll revert to normal instantaneously. Okay, put that dress back on, Peach. Yeah, do not. Do not forget that, man. I'd love to visit Japan. Get your traveling done, man. I, I think everybody should go somewhere. If they can. If it's within their means. Um, I think that is an experience that is totally, totally, totally worth it. Um... Costs a lot, but incorrect, Princess Peach. That potion will not revert you back to normal. You will die. Yeah, give it to me, huh? <laughs> oh, boy. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. Um, yum, yum, yum. What a relief. I was kind of worried that I might never become visible again. My beautiful face. There was never any danger of that. Except if you, you know, drank the wrong potion and died. Now, please come back. See, what's the point of going invisible if literally the guards just leave every couple of minutes? Like, that don't make no sense to me. Me too, because of their sushi and ramen and money. What? <laughs> Chasing Peach around. Thanks for that image, Brian. Oh, no problem. <laughs> oh, God, I forgot she was a part of that. Anyway, I'm still analyzing it. The data is very heavily encrypted. But my prediction is correct. It's correct. What? No, I cannot afford any mistakes or assumptions. I will let you know when my analysis is complete. Now, please use the communicator if you wish. All right. Japanese exclusive games. Yo! I've been thinking about doing, like, an episode or maybe, like, a really short Let's Play in Japanese. Just, like, test myself and, like, broadcast in Japan and then everybody in Japan would see it and be like, Wow, this dude is an idiot. What is he doing or talking about? <laughs> Done for now. Please go back to the room. Okay, take care, Tech. Aw, oh, they're, they're getting close. It's okay. Thank you, Princess Peach. Why, you're welcome, Tech. Aw, oh, he's learning manners, too. How to be a human 101 wikihow.com princess peach i will protect you man this is a bad romance if there ever were one let's go ahead and save that game changing your bed sheets hey hope they're nice and clean and warm now that's a good feeling changing your bed sheets it's a good feeling indeed either way now it's time for lord bowser bruh. oh we can actually walk around here can't we I'm pretty sure. What? What is this place? Why is the light so weird here? It's spooking me out. Lights are because this is Twilight Town, my lord. Should be trail here. Let's put the screws to one of these creepy things and find the crystal star. Sounds good to me, Haggy. Let's go to it. And oh, why is Crump here? Oh man, I'm pretty sure Beldum said there's lots of super bomb bomb bomb. <clears throat> Excuse me, super bomb bomb. Somewhere around here, this stinks really. This whole deal is extremely bad, 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 bad! I got a cowboy up and make a serious comeback here, or else. Oh no, wait, doesn't this cut the thing off immediately? No, I lost my chance! Bam, got it! Bam, got it! And I am the man! Now we can crush Mario and get the crystal stars in one fell swoop, hot diggity dog! B -b -b <laughs> the luck of the mood is still riding shotgun with me. You're that suspicious guy. You know something about the crystal stars, don't you? B Somebody there? Hey, what's the big idea, turtle boy? Dang it, I wanted to talk to some other villagers. Darn it, dude. 30% uh, should be able to make it through the rest of the stream. We're about to end it off, actually. You looking for the Crystal Stars too? Sweet. This'll help the Trump comeback. Now then, let's get to it. You'll be telling me everything you know now. Oh, uh, actually, it's you who's gonna spill every bit of info out of your big ugly head. Your head is the size of his entire body, Bowser. I wouldn't be hugging you. Yeah, sorry about that. If you hesitate at all, I'll show you no mercy! Whoa there, big guy. I, I mean, no, wait, wait. What am I afraid of? You? B -b -b <laughs> if you think you can take me, then try it, Shelby. 
All troops report! Oh lord, he brought his army. He brought all the trumpeteers. <laughs> yeah, you like that? Kind of a lot of dudes, huh? You feel like talking yet? <laughs> you dare scoff at us! Koopa Clan, form up! And this is the gang violence that slowly destroyed Tr Twilight Town. Whoa, well played! <laughs> so what's it gonna be, tough guy? Are we just gonna have like a stare down here? Is that what's going on? <laughs> oh, I gotta laugh! This is why I keep one of these around. Sorry, suckers! Eat this, Turtle Lorks! Super Bomb! Bomb! <laughs> Incoming! That was it? That was your big weapon? It didn't even go off! Whoa, ha, ha, ha. This is how you do it, amateur. Watch and learn! Oh, God, Bowser. <laughs> Why, dude? And ladies and gentlemen, three, two, one, say it with me. Bomb! There it is. And there it is. And there it is. <laughs> oh, gosh. I do wish this, impact, this event had some impact on Twilight Town, at least on the ground. Oh, God. If it had impact on Twilight Town, everybody would be dead, man. That's too much. <laughs> There we go, that does it for the Bowser interlude, and we are officially done with Chapter 5 of the Thousand Year Door. So let's finish up with all this post-Chapter 5 stuff, because uh, I know there's a little bit of talking after this, I believe. And uh, then we can uh, wrap things up here. <laughs> you, you have distinguished yourself in battle, amigo. You're worthy in my eyes. You may use this ship, the Black Skull, anytime you like. Oh, many thanks to you. The ship can get us back to Rogueport in no time. Let us get away from this coconut pit and back home. Come, everybody. I can't wait to get back home. I've been looking forward to, it, to this for so long. Why are you the only one with clean clothes? Did, are, did, are you the only one? <laughs> everybody else. Oh, wait, no. That dude came with us. Okay, right? Maybe? I don't know. We're turning home alive is all the treasure I need for real. Now get this boat moving. Well, that is all there is to it, then. Am I not correct? To see Captain Mario. Ah, <sighs> Mario. Oh, Mario. <laughs> Sorry, frog in my throat. But we're gonna stay here. It's been tough at times, but I think we like this place. Yes, I think I can make a fine life here with my sweet Frankie. Bleh. Small heart. <laughs> hey, Mario. Give my regards to the boss, will you? Yeah, I'm gonna stay here. It's a right nice place to live without any ghosts, eh? Yes, very good. They'll be rather happy here, eh? Let's be on our way, hmm? Bobbery, you are too cool. You talk too cool, my dude. Yo, y'all lit up the chat with Bomb. Oh my gosh, dude. Thank you. Thank you. We all needed a little bit of that. Stomach feels glued together with Tostitos. <laughs> I've never heard that expression, but that is crazy. That is actually crazy. <laughs> it's a shame I like this episode. I like this episode, too. This was fun. And it is a shame that Keel Hulk ends off like that. I wish you got to explore a little bit more of the island itself, like you did in um, Paper Mario 1. Well, in that one, I guess you go inside the volcano pretty quick, too, but... I don't know, I like the area. Thus, our adventure came to an exciting end. The ship sailed smoothly on to Rowport, and soon as we saw the harbor... Uh, uh, the and soon we saw the harbor off our bow. Excuse me, I stuttered, even though I'm writing. I did not find the treasure. I did not find treasure, but I'm satisfied nonetheless. Strange though it sounds. For I have found something even more precious than doubloons. Yes, even now, I hear the crew readying to dock. The time is ripe to close this journal. To all who wander the seas, Flavio's blessings upon you. Flavio. Ya yeah, boy. Flavio is a cool character because he starts off a complete 100% jerk and he ends off an incomplete, like, 88% jerk. What a man. That's character development, ladies and gentlemen. At last we return, slathered in glory to my hometown, sweet Rogueport. Yo, Flavio started in Rogueport? That's what, that's the definition of starting from the bottom out here. Of course, it is only because of my courageous efforts that we return at all, huh? But of course, you all know that and know it well. Yes, yes, Master Flavio. Master, whatever. But now, please excuse us. Perhaps chance will bring us all together again someday. For now, we're all gonna go take a big fat shower. But what? Hey, we're you're all leaving already? Oh, that that was harsh. <laughs> They're all sprinting up the staircase in the back. Oh my god. Such is life, Captain Mario. You are anxious to continue your own adventure, also, huh? Yep. Let me go, please. I hate you. You smell like corn. One day you may surpass the great and fabulous Flavio in greatness and fabulousness. It is not likely I show you, but you should, how you say, shoot for the stars, huh? Hmm, good game idea for the Nintendo Wii, coming soon. If ever you should reach the pinnacle, remember to shout Flavio to the wind. That reminds me, amigo. 
<laughs> if you ever get the urge to return to Kill Hockey, I have to, like, transition into that voice. Kill Hockey, you say the word, okay? I will send you to the island faster than the fastest winds blow, comprende? Pretty fast. Yes, yes, you giant skull, you. Your time in the spotlight is done. Get over yourself. Aha! Well, my adoring fans have gone, so I'll be excusing myself now as well. If you see me in town, I will permit you to say hello to me. May we meet again, huh? May we never meet again. Too corny for me, Flavio. Well, 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 old boy. I think, I should think we'd head for that door at this point. How does everybody automatically know about the Thousand Year Door before we tell them about it? On your toes, old bean. That can only be an email from Princess Peach. And so it is. No Nigerian princess today? Gosh darn it. I saw this stream off Sully Pones. Yo, where'd you see it from? Was it in like a, um, welcome to the stream, Untamable Josh Jr.? Untamable Josh R, not Jr. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Was it in like a related video or something? Dearest Mario, I have good news. I don't know where I'm being held. That's all. Bye. <laughs> but there's an odd computer called Tech here. By cooperating with this tech, I managed to obtain some of these fiends' data. Tech is currently analyzing it, and strange as it may sound, I trust him. Once his analysis is done, I should be able to provide you with details of their plans. I'll email you again once I learn more. Be good, okay? Brush your teeth, eat three meals a day, don't skip breakfast, do your homework, Princess Peach. Great goobery! Goobery? <laughs> your princess is now one to be trifled with. We'd best get to work, too. And yeah, she's putting in that work. She's doing what she can from her very pampered living situation. You know what? Um, before we end off this stream... I do want to check Snapchat here in a minute, so stick around if you are interested in that. Snapchat is right over there if you want to send something in to get shown on stream before the end of it. Uh, Luigi's right there. Let's go ahead and... I know there's a secret over here. I believe there's a badge or something, so let's go ahead and grab that before we end things off. We should talk to Luigi today, too. Because tomorrow might end up being the double-length stream if we do one at all, so... Um, I want to be as like efficient as possible with that, because that is going to be some... That is going to be some damage to my throat, I will tell you what. <laughs> Even right now, I'm getting a little bit of bullfrog action. Yo! We got HP Drain, which is not all that useful in attack, but we don't know. Goombella, who's this crazy Daisy? That's Luigi's Daisy friend, Hazy. Apparently, Hazy is an actor-director. Isn't it amazy? You know Luigi's acting maybe, right? The grass thing? I can never play grass. I don't want to play a princess, and a prince would wake me with a kiss. So romantic. What a hard part, sleeping the whole time. If I played, like, a sleeping prince or princess or whatever, I'd be like... And then I'd actually fall asleep, and I'd be like... In, like, the middle of the show. I'm Hazy, and I must say Luigi is a great actor, one of the finest I've seen. After this adventure, we're going on tour to appear on stages everywhere. I'm going to be known as the Red Miracle. And, of course, Luigi will be grass. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. It's the one partner of Luigi's that doesn't hate him. Well, I got another piece of that marvelous compass. A jazz of Raz down this time. Bro, I'm telling you, I started adventuring into an art form on that little quest. Ooh, it was pretty nutty, bro. Wanna hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Of course I do. Jazz of Raz down, and then we'll end things off with Snapchat at the end. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. As soon as we hit Jazz of Raz down, we were overcome by the glitz and the glamour. It's a very lively place, bro. Tons of daisies live there and they're always smiling. While looking for the piece of compass, I met a hip daisy named Hazy. Hazy was a producer and he was looking for actors to go on stage with him. I told him we couldn't since we were looking for the compass part, you know. But Hazy said we could win the compass part in the upcoming drama slam. He said the so-called drama llama pa la llama llama la shama la llama ding dong plaque might, in fact, be one of the parts. Well, we just had to give it a try, so we rehearsed with the cast and hit the stage. Our musical was called The Mystery of the Fiery Hat of Social Awareness. <laughs> The fiery hat of social awareness. Oh my god. That is awesome and topical to this day. The script was great, but I really got hosed, bro. My role, my part, was grass. I played grass by the side of the road. Grass, bro, grass. I just sprawled out on the ground and had to be silent. Everyone but me had lines. I don't care if I was wearing green. Who got someone based on that? It was awful. In the end, our musical was the talk of the town, and we won the drama slam. I got the compass part I was after, but even that didn't make me very happy. Hungry for more Luigi, what a man. The huge after party just bummed me out more, so I snuck out the back door. Luigi, after party, have you been being a good boy? But wow, outside were tons of fans, my fans, fans of grass, they swerved me. I just couldn't believe it. Imagine cheering for grass, I was ecstatic bro. After that, I added the piece to the marvelous compass which pointed north. It pointed to the rapturous ruins in Grimble Forest. Then the voice again. 
Oh, my cherished princess Eclair, how would you soothe me? If I, I would be grass for you. I will find you, I will reach you, I will stand by your side and be your Luigi. Wow, sorry about that, Rogue. Um, so yeah, anyway, then I got back on my boat. He just has a boat. I came back to Rogueport and here I am, another leg of my adventure completed. Why didn't you take us to kill Hulky, you jerk? Jeez, Luigi, come on, man. Gosh darn it. Also, what is Princess Eclair even saying in his head? Like, she has got to be saying nothing with that stuff. Like, please leave me alone. You smell like garlic. I can smell it all the way from here in my dungeon. And... Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're so funny. Brian's one of the funny. Oh, thank you, guys. You guys are awesome. Stop. I'm going to bless you in front of everybody. I love all of you, really. You guys are funny, too. Speaking of you guys being funny, time for whoa. Um, sorry, I just got a text from, um, I just got a text from my girlfriend, and she went to bed at 6 a.m. tonight, and she just woke up, like, 15 minutes ago, which would make that, like, 10 a.m., so she got four hours of sleep, because she was being a silly billy. <laughs> oh my god, but anyway, you guys are Snapchats. It is time for the last round of them, so let's go ahead and check them out. We got lovely red zero one with... Gosh, aren't I just the cutest, guys? Couldn't I just really rock the reef? Is that backwards and filtered? That's not even cute. That's scary, actually. <laughs> Yo! Yo! Can I tweet this? Lovely Red. I don't know your name in the chat, but... Hey, love you too, Untamable Josh. But Yo, that was so cool! And oh my god. <laughs> oh, Melissa! You are Lovely Red! Okay! Yo, do you mind if I tweet that fan art that you made? That was so adorable. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for the Snapchats, everybody. Whoa, somebody else just added me. Um, I really appreciate it. Oh, one more from Ultra Plasma. Why not? <laughs> Bomb, he says. What a perfect way to end off the stream. I would like to thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed and you're still sticking with me, thanks so much, first of all, for coming all the way to the end. I know these are long, but you guys are awesome, man. The support has been crazy lately. Thank you so, so much. Really, from the bottom of my heart. Um, first of all, before you go, make sure to leave a like on the video down below. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Meta Lucy, Untamable Josh, Jose, Mr. Sora, 16, Akila Tenchi, Toaster, Ketchup, um, Radish Trainer Cameron, thank you, friends, is that a Gen 7 Pokemon? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Trash Boat, <clears throat> everybody else who's out here, the Electric Racer 26, Mario Tainaka, uh, everybody, thank you, really, so much, this has been so much fun, and I hope you tune in tomorrow, 3 p.m. Pacific time, as always, for another Paper Mario Thousand Year Door livestream, it's starting on Chapter 6 this time, uh, might be a double feature tomorrow. Might do chapter 6 and 7 tomorrow. Haven't decided yet, so we will see about that. Um, either way, thank you all very, very much for watching. I'm gonna hang out in the chat for a minute after this, so hang around if you want to chat. But, uh, thanks so much once again for watching, really, and I will see you guys next time. Awkward failed to transition. <laughs>